hello and welcome to my channel crochet online course so in today's video i am going to show you the beautiful pattern for this summer well for this pattern we need a hook number 3.0 millimeter a yarn 3 ply so we will start making chains make chains like you do always i make chains like in this method so we need to make three chains in start one chain two chains and three chains now make a double crochet in the first chain yarn over pull through and make a double crochet in the first chain so now again do a double crochet in the same chain so we have done two double crochets in the chain now two chains and again do two double crochet in the same chain okay we are doing again two double crochets in the same chain so in this first row we have first three stitches then two chains and again two stitches so now we will do three chains and turn our work one two three turn your work and make it make two double crochets in the two chain space one double crochet Two double crochet like this now two chains and again two double crochet in the same chain space one and two this is done we have two rows completed now move to the third row again make three chains Turn your work and make two double crochets in the two chain space. One and two. Make two chains and two double crochets in the same chain space. Three rows are completed. this is how it will work really easy and understandable so we have we need to make these line as wide as your size this will be the width of your size again three chains turn our work two double crochets in the same space and again two chain and two double crochet in the space this will work the same till your size this line will be of your waistline take your size and make the line make the belt this will be this will work as well and make this belt as wide as you want I have done a small just to show you the pattern so first we will count the heads three heads will work as one portion three heads plus one if you need more wide you have to plus three heads so three heads are the basic and plus one in the last so i have done only 10 heads just to show you the pattern there will be the three portions in 10 heads now do slip stitches to go to the other side okay this is our first head we are going to 
we are going to start our work from the first head make three chains one two three do a double crochet in the space now two chains and two double crochet in the same space like this this will be the line of the portion the starting line now work further this is the width of your vest or your sweater or your top or what are you making now do a knot take a size remember you have not to make it loose or lo uh, very tight just take a simple size and make like I'm doing a single crochet on the head like this do this one then do a single crochet in the next head like this so we have done one knot and single crochet in the head now we will do two knots and do a single crochet in the next head this is not very tough or complicated this is as simple but you need to remember the same size of the knot okay two knots and now do a single crochet in the next head this is our next head done your single crochet now again we will do a single knot okay, single knot now in the next head we will do two double crochet two chains and two double crochets because this is the end of our first portion this is the same pattern same pattern will be repeated till your size so, okay one portion is 10 this is the boundaries and between boundaries we have knots we have four knots in total now move to the next just do the same till you till your size again one knot a single crochet in the head now doing two knots one knot and the second knot and attach it with doing a single crochet in head for the last we will do again one knot and two double crochet two chain and two double crochet in the last head so here I have done seven heads for the seven heads I have two portions of the of this pattern three heads are the multiples plus one okay the first row of our pattern is completed now move to the second row for second row make three chains turn your work a double crochet in the space now two chains and two double crochet in the space two chains two double crochets in the same space this boundary will go the same 
टू स्टिचेज टू चेंज एंड टू स्टिचेज सो इन नेक्स्ट रो वी विल डू फर्स्ट टू नॉट्स वन नॉट एंड अगेन आ नॉट जस्ट रिमेंबर द साइज ऑफ द नॉट्स इट विल बी द सेम you need to make the same size of the knots otherwise your design or pattern will be loose or tight so do a single crochet in the first rows two knots between between the space of the two knots two knots one single a single crochet then again two knots one knot is done then the second knot and now do two two double crochets two chain and two double crochets this will the end of the portion okay our first portion of second row is completed by doing two knots single crochet and two knots in the previous row we did one knot then single crochet two knots single crochet and one knot but in next we did two knots single crochet and two knots so pattern will go the same in third row we will repeat the first row so this pattern is two row pattern and not very difficult to make or understand so i have done the second row now we will move to the third row for third row make three chains turn your work and make a double crochet in chain space then two chains and two double crochets two double crochets okay done done as same this will go the same now repeat the first row one make one knot do a single crochet in the in this space in this stitch a single crochet now do two knots again do a single crochet in the next two knot space or middle stitch like this again do a single knot and in the last make two double crochets two chains and two double crochets in the same space so this is the end of the third rows first portion pattern will go the same by repeating the rows again and again this pattern is two row pattern so you need to learn two rows and you are up so this is done in next we will repeat this second row two knots and one single crochet two knots and again the boundary so i have made this piece this is the one side of the front of my sweater so now i will show you how to make the neckline and the arm line the arm cut and then this will be the arm side and this will be our neck side in the next side we will decrease some stitches 
but we will not leave our boundary but in arm side we will skip the boundary and skip some stitches so let's start three now we will start by doing the arm side we will skip this boundary line by making just single crochets make single crochet in every stitch like this so I have done four stitches in first four spaces now do a do two knots two knots one knot and two knot two knots do a single crochet like we do so as you can see I have just skipped the boundary so here we have decreased some stitches again two knots one and two so in next uh, we will do the same by doing two double crochets two chains and two double crochets I am starting from the arm side if you like you can make it make it straight but I am showing you the how to make a cut arm side you can see the difference how I decrease the stitches now complete the other portions ok now we are on the next side we I have made two knots there are total four knots in one portion but we will try to decrease them so in this row I will just do three knots first I have done two knots done a single crochet now I will do only one knot in, in spite of two row, uh, two knots I am doing just one knot and do the rest of the pattern by doing two double crochets two chains and two double crochets so one thing to remember you need to not to skip the boundary in the next side so next side will go with the boundary and the arm side in arm side we will decrease and we will skip the boundary just you can see I have skipped these stitches but I am not skipping the boundary in the next side so I have three knots total in next side again in the next row three double uh, three uh, chains one double crochet again two chains and double crochet in the same space just as boundary so now we will do next in next we will again do three knots in total make two knots one single crochet then one knot and the boundary one knot the second knot single crochet over here like this and one knot and 
two double crochet two chains and two double crochets in the space in the boundary line or the space just do the same okay so you can see that I have decreased one knot here and you can clearly see the size that how it will go you can see the cut and the style of the neck now make the pattern next pattern the same we will meet in the arm side so I'm on the arm side in arm side I have also done only three knots I have decreased one knot and I'm doing again the next row in next row do a knot one knot a single crochet next two knots one knot and second knot make two double crochets two chains and two double crochets two chains and two double crochets okay this is how I have decreased the size of the arm side you can see how it will work I have skipped the boundary line and skipped one knot but in next side I just skipped one knot and I'm not skipping the boundary so we are on the next side now in this row I will do only three knots first make one knot one knot do a single crochet over here again one knot and the boundary so in first two rows I have done three knots in the next side but in this I am just doing two knots two knots and the boundary so after this row you can clearly see that how neck is going in the V shape so this is the third row of decreasing the stitches in first two rows I have skipped one knot and but in the third row I have skipped two knots so we in total we have two knots and boundary in the next side so again we will do three chains turn work and make two double crochets two chains and two double crochets So this is the fourth row of decreasing the stitches. Now I will do one knot, one knot and simply do the two double crochets, two stitches and two double crochets in the next boundary or next line. This is the fourth row of decreasing the stitches and we have one knot and the boundary in the next side. 
this is how it will look like you can clearly see the V shape in the next side you can see how I have skipped the north and it is the shape of V so this is the arm side we have only one knot and the boundary in next side okay next move to the next make the same pattern as you do in the normal portion one knot single crochet two knots and single crochet and again one knot two knots single crochet over here again one knot and then two double crochets two chains and two double crochets in the same space so we are working towards the side of arm i will show you the arm side that how it is looking after decreasing the stitches this is the fourth row of decreasing our stitches now do one knot do a single crochet again one knot and do a double crochet in the last stitch so in arm side we will have only two knots and in the last one double crochet so i have done three stitches uh, three chains turn work one knot uh, two knots in this row two knots in total then again two double crochets two chains and two double crochets so you can see clearly the cut of the arm side now making completing two double crochets two chains and two double crochets so this is the arm side as you see now this side will go the same by doing two knots in next row we will do one knot one single crochet one knot and in the last us uh, double crochet so this will go make the rows still your size okay complete the work here till here we will try to combine these two lines together now i am at the end of the row now we have skipped the knot and just doing the two double crochets two chains and two double crochets for the boundary just skip the knot now i have just flipped you can see the clearly v cut for the neck now do the two double crochets two chain the two double crochets in the in this line one portion is completely skipped here step by step this is clear and full shape so in next row we will not skip any stitch or any knot we will do the same till our size size of the arm so this will go like the same 
we will not add or decrease any stitch in the next rows even if you are making 10 rows you are not skipping any stitch or skip, skipping any nor so I have done few rows and not skipped any stitch this is the arm side you can see the cut and this is the neck side this is the shape of V so make the more rows till your size okay this is the I have just done three portions of the design but if you are making it in big size you need to make more portions and take your arm take your arm size and make more rows 